Well, welcome to the Pastor Robert J. Bartholomew Bishop Sanchez Santiago Show. I know it's a mouthful, but you can say that, nigga. You can make it anywhere, nigga. Um, today, we are here today at the church to celebrate. God and all his greatness. Now, I want everybody, everybody, put your hand under your chair. Move it to the left, not the right. Move it to the left. It's three bottles. We got Remy, we got Insect, and we got Hennis. Whatever you like to drink, pour it in your pimp cup that's over to the left. So just move to the left. Move it to the left. So everybody got their custom pimp cup that say, I love Jesus on it. I see, I, oh, I see Big Bertha over there. Bertha. What you got in that cup? It ain't dark. Oh, she she sipping on that gray goose over there. Oh, look at! I can't believe. Look, 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 look at Grandma Mildred. She got Keisha up. Grandma. You about eighty, about eighty-six, eighty-seven. You sure you can handle that? But anyway, everybody pour them a cup and and make a little special pimp cup saying, "I love Jesus." No, no, we ain't talking about that little skimpy shot. I'm talking about fill it up. You fill this cup up when everybody. Knock his cup back. Church will start. You know, I can wait. See, um, I have my cups. My cup, man. Pastor been drinking. I ain't gonna lie to you. In the name of Jesus. I've been drinking since seven last night. I knew I was gonna come to church feeling blessed. Feeling relaxed, feeling stress free. So, everybody, get on my level. Get on past the show's level. And if you can't, there's a dope. But you can't take my drink. You ain't gonna drink it here. You ain't gonna drink it anywhere else, nigga. Now, on to the ceremony. Everybody back here. Amen. The prayer session is done. See, I don't take all that time and, and do extended prayers that last 15, 20 minutes. God knows what I'm thinking. He can feel it in my heart. So, um, today we're going to talk about People that's overweight. You know, um, I'm not discriminating anything. I'm just saying people that's overweight is bad for the economy. We got people that's taking overweight obesity to extreme measures. And that's great. We got we have 
weight limitations on almost everything. Airplane, you weigh 250 or more, you gotta pay for an extra seat. Damn. So your ticket costs 770. <laughs> you better tell him. You ain't bad man. In my words, in my, um, what's that dude all family gal? Herbert. You can't be bad man. You know, if you try, yeah. You ain't going nowhere. Now, this is what we're gonna do. I see the big, I see the big girls in the back. Yeah, y'all scared to get them six seats that left. See that one stick at the bottom says weight capacity one fifty to two hundred. Don't be ashamed about your weight. Just last week, Big Bertha broke six stools. She was sitting on the twelve time. It was just crazy. It was like, hi, hey, bastard. Big Bertha, um, you sitting on two chairs? Won't you give a little Timmy uh, a seat to sit on? I'm scared, Pastor. If I only use one chair, he won't be able to hold me. Well, um, we're gonna have to bring in some steel reinforced chairs. The ones that use the crash dummies on them cars. Not bad. It won't break right in. Now, everybody, everybody, won't y'all stand up? I'm going to play some real church music for you. Everybody going to feel this liquor today. I know y'all, y'all folks out there don't know nothing about this. This is my faith. This is how I made my kids. So, won't y'all... Stand up and enjoy. Take a sip of that liquor. Knock it back or do whatever you want to do. Get drunk. You can't get high. No, no, no. No, no. Jane, no, uh, uh, uh. Put that blunt up. Put the blunt up. So you're being selfish. Anything you bring in the church, you gotta let the pastor smoke it first. <laughs> But, um, here's the song. Everybody feeling high? Take your clothes off or something get naked. So, um, Pearl, um, Reverend Jane can say you will come to the back after this song. <laughs> Oh, 
me work on that. Get it, buddy. I think you need to sit down, man. You prescribe a little bit too much. It may really be in my game. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. As I see military old oh, ass do that that split, no, mm -mm. that's too much for my eyes. Oh, what you say? You still flex? You still got it? Ah, oh, no, I don't want to try. No, mm -mm. But anyway, everybody take a seat. Sit down. Want y'all rest a little bit? Big Bird good. Mm. Look okay, at Big Bird. You can't make it, can you? You see, right there. You sweating, huh? You sweating that 27 B sound. You came in here with a bun. Now you got a bang, nigga. Look at you. You got a motherfucking bang. Mildred. Yo, your wig backwards? How you got the bun in the front of your head? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And your bang in the back. That's crazy. You been doing the thing. But, hey everybody, we gonna recite something from the new Bible. It's called Exodus Plus. We're going to turn to chapter 16. Ving Rams. 16, 42, 39, section 9, under the bowl. And it said, Yeah. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat for this one. Um. Woo. And thou shall walk in the living room, but naked, with somebody's mother. Holding it up, I bunny hopping in and skipping through the living room. And thou shalt slip up in the sauce and get lost. Her son, who which is 29 years old, still live with is gonna catch you. And that's what you say. Bouncing around on your tippy toes like a rabbit. Nigga, bunny hop. Now, amen. <laughs> See, Vin Rang is a poet. He's a scholar. He can write some stuff. See, see the new Bible get quotes from Slap. See, um, let me see. We're going to go to chapter 49. Oprah. 15, 16, 19, and 103. She said, I have thyroids. Bitch, that is not thyroids. That is neck bones. 
what I was told by Paul Mooney that I was fat. That's it. Oprah just hey. She can't choose to be skinny or big. Don't tell everybody. I'm big because I got thyroids. Bitch, I ain't thyroid, that's neck bones. Chillings, heart balls, and all. I suggest you go and invest in one of the motherfucking neck bones. You'll be more richer than you rich now. But, back to church. You see, the pastor kind of moves. The heat in here. Come on, big brother. Take the fan off. How you going to take the whole church fan and put it on? Uh-uh, don't take your shirt off. Mm -mm. Better go outside with that shit. Nobody play games like that. Now, let me tell you what happened to me last week. We had three stools left at church. Made, the legs made by loom. Tell me why. One big girl came in. Two kids. One of the kids was sitting down, the other one was standing up because that big lady had to sit on two stools. She saw the weight limit on them. She said, if I put two together, 150 and 150 is 300. And 200 and 200 is 400. That's 700 pound capacity. <laughs> When I heard that, I had to pray. I had to actually get on my knee and pray for them stools. And when she got up on them stools, you know how you're too heavy, you stand on the dresser to make that little creaky noise? Them stools are making a creaky steel noise. Like they... Like the Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz when he need the oil. <laughs> the mother of the was speaking Spanish in verse. Senorita, you're too heavy. You need to lose weight. Get off. She didn't hear that. But I bet she heard when the motherfuckers went from speaking Spanish to English. Like, damn, hey, bitch. You too bald, mother to have. Don't you see this stool on the right side? It's bending. If he bending, the other three going to be. You going to turn this motherfucking stool into a pancake with your big ass. Well, that's today's church. Tomorrow might be at their room. I'm going to still be at drop mode, man. So, I'm going to leave y'all with this. Pretty little kitty. Listening to Eyes Music. Peace out.